Hey everyone, Charting Man Dan from ChartGuys.com. You know, behind every single video that we put out every single day, there's a wonderful community of traders that we want to invite you to be a part of. Try the free seven-day trial and gain access to our live market broadcasts every morning and afternoon. Interact with hundreds of like-minded traders or take part in one of our dedicated chat rooms, each led by an analyst that's there to answer your questions in real time. Our trial is risk-free with absolutely no commitment or credit card required to experience the TCG community. For those looking for a head start in technical analysis, check out our entries and exits course in the link below in the description. Get up to speed with the fundamentals of TCG technical analysis and experience over five hours of great community driven trading education hello everyone checking in on the tech sector here I need to switch this chart over but we've got the tech sector we got Apple and Facebook and a big exciting day for the bears yet again we have confirmed the bearish reversal head and shoulders pattern the left shoulder the head the right shoulder the neckline has broken we are holding the lower Bollinger Band support but this is significant and there's volume behind this move to back it up and if you look at the hourly time frame look at the five day hourly time frame and it's very clear that the bounce that we saw yesterday was just a lower high it was an oversold bounce it had a lot of power behind it to be able to last the entire day but it was comparatively to where we came from very clearly a lower high so it was possible that we could have seen the lower high and then a higher low and then a higher high for the bulls to follow through but we know that we're not going to shoot straight from the bottom right back to the top. So the last video, I was looking for a lower high to be set, and I did expect the Bulls to have a bit more momentum heading into today, but obviously we could see first thing this morning that was not the case. So the lower high was set yesterday, and instead of setting that higher low and giving the Bulls a chance to turn things around, we fell right through and set a lower low. So it's very clear that the Bears are in control of the short term. The next support is down here at the consolidation low back in mid-May. That was 54.15. So that's another target to be looking at. We dropped down to 54.33, so not too far off today. Weekly time frame, bearish reversal. Actually, this is the monthly, but I might as well look at it. So what stands out to me on this monthly chart is the volume, the volume climax. And volume climax is often signal the top of an uptrend and the bottom of a downtrend. And just because it's the most volume that we have seen in a month, and it's going to be in two year, or in a year and a half, 2016, the start of the year, was really the only the last time that we've seen higher volume than what we've currently got so volume climax and a bearish reversal candlestick and the first red candlestick that we've seen in seven months that is very significant so we could form a bull flag it could be you know it, this could be consolidation before shooting up further but we are getting the signals of consolidation and we're going to be utilizing the daily time frame to be indicating how long that's going to play out so apple losing the 100 day moving average support it didn't break to lower lows yet we had that support down at 142.20 and we bounced right off that 142.28 and that was a really good support to be able to recognize and to be able to play a bounce off of that so when you are in a, a day where you're extremely down on the day in terms of the price action and the momentum favoring the bears and you see the hourly chart start to get oversold and you see the five minute rsi continuously oversold throughout the day and you see things like the 20 period five minute moving average hasn't become support at any point today. So then you look and say, okay, we're in all out dump mode. Where can we find support? So we look back here and see a double low, the last consolidation, 142.21, 142.20. That's a double low. And as we approach that level in such oversold conditions, that's what I call a bottom fishing play, where you can put your buy order fairly close to those levels. And then you can keep your risk really small by just putting your stop loss if we were to break let's say how much wiggle room you want to give maybe maybe if we were to break 142 you could put it at 14198 or something and that would stop you out because then we would hit lower lows and that would be clearly the bears have all out momentum but the bulls held that support and they saw a really nice bounce if you're playing weekly options that's really nice gains off of that low there and another indication would have been the 20 period five minute moving average becoming support for the first time not only does the daily support holding give you confidence? But that's the confirmation right there when it gets it as support for the first time that day. And so many names today did that in the afternoon once the bounce began. And that's really where the bottom was hit. Once we got that 20 period, five minute, we were confident in the bounce following through and it did. So Facebook on the daily time frame still very strong comparatively. And the 50 day is still that major support. And that's at 150.48. So the bulls bought the dip. It was a lower low, but we still have all these supports down here. We have a lot of wiggle room before we lose the higher low pattern on the daily for Facebook. We have 144.56 is the main level that stands out to me. And we have a lot of space until we get to that level. We got six, seven dollars. So the weekly time frame for Facebook, nice stairs stepping higher, higher lows and higher highs. Well, eyes on the bearish MACD cross. If the tech sector does roll over and go bearish Q3, then obviously we're not going to be looking to play Facebook bullish. But if things recover, Facebook is one of the first names we should be looking at because it is so strong. 
So I appreciate you watching. We'll check back in over the weekend. Have a great night.